Right, so this session three is actually a very, very short video because on the slides there's a lot that we already did in part one and some are not in syllabus. Okay, so why unemployment is a problem? Unemployment is a problem because people ha can't get money. I'm joking. But the actual economic problem uh, definition is it's when people cannot contribute to the economy right at the end of the day the economy needs employment right you need to have employment to up your gdp up your you know real gdp and all that right now if there's unemployment there'll be lost of incomes and production i told you right so obviously lost of incomes you won't have income to you know i uh, love you need production a lot of you won't produce much in your country loss of human capital when you're unemployed, right, human capital is skills. So when you're unemployed, you will lose all your skills that you have because you just will forget all the skills that you have. So that is why it's long, uh, lost human capital. Now that you don't have to see, um, this you can read on yourself, right? Um, this we covered in part, part one. Yeah, we did cover this in part one. Part one, part one, uh, part one. Okay, so we also covered this in part one, but also here in part two, they emphasize it here. So we'll do it now. Frictional unemployment. When you think of friction, think of normal, like normal. So this is your normal unemployment. So when people go into jobs, they're unhappy. They go out. They want to explore something new. They go into another job. Frictional unemployment, normal structured unemployment think of structure as purpose like structure like something happened that caused them to be unemployed this is technology change right so when you need different skills for example now computers a lot of jobs are being replaced by computers new skills so now all those people get unemployed this is structured and then um youth unemployment so youth unemployment is unemployment at the age of this so if you're looking for a job over here, you might not get a job because they don't look at young people. They want experience. That is what a lot of youth that are unemployed who's looking for a job. That is why there's a lot of youth unemployment. Cyclic unemployment is where you look at the business cycle. So you know the business cycle that evaluates the economy. So you got potential GDP and you got your real GDP, like that, like that, like that. Cyclic unemployment happens over here. So when is a recession? So when there's a recession, it's this line going down. So all like unemployment is happening over here, right? That's cyclic unemployment. It's like the worst form of unemployment, right? The peak is the highest point on this business cycle. Trough is the lowest point. So unemployment at this lowest point is cyclic unemployment. Now, what if you combine frictional and structured unemployment together? You might ask. Well, you get natural unemployment. So natural unemployment, it rises from fictional and structural. So together, right? So there'll be technologies change, skill change. Also, it'll be normal unemployment. Right? So that's natural unemployment. Now, the age distribution of the population. This also affects unemployment, employment because the more younger people, the more unemployment there is, right? Uh, the scale of structure change so obviously you know a lot of jobs are being lost because a lot of technology change you know computers ai all that stuff real wage rate so real wage rate is basically the wage rate divided by the price level um basically it's like how many goods you can buy in like right now per hour so for example, if you're getting a hundred rand per hour and your price level is 50 rand, that means you can buy two of the goods. Now, I might be thinking, what I'm trying to price level, I covered this in part one, what is price level and all that, right? Very detailed. A real wage rate, okay, minimum as an efficient wage. So, efficient wage is a real wage rate that brings unemployment a minimum wage. So, uh, bring unemployment uh, a minimum wage and an efficient wage. Okay, so efficient wage is basically a wage that is good, right? So sometimes in a, the economy, if like people want a wage of 100 rand, if you are working in a business, offer them like 
150 rand, more than the minimum wage rate. So this will be efficient wage, right? Unemployment benefits. Now, unemployment, this, right, also happens because of unemployment benefits. So when you get unemployed, you get benefits, right? If you, like, contributed to, like, deductions, all that, you know, your aid, medical aid, all that stuff. Not medical aid, uh, UIF, sorry, UIF funds. So people will literally be unemployed just to have those funds. And those funds, you can live off them if you have a lot of funds. So, yeah, some people just be unemployed just because of that. Real GDP and unemployment over the cycle, I told you. If you look at the cycle I drew, the um, this cycle over here, you're getting in the recession going down, you get unemployment. Going up is expansion, you get empl employment, right? So you're always going to get real um, unemployment, employment. Also, the real GDP is, I told you, that line that goes like this, and then potentially the straight line that goes up, right? So it's always circulating around there. Now, this gap between the real GDP and this line, which is the potential GDP, is called the output gap, right? Over here, the output gap is positive. Over here, it's negative. So you see? Um, inflation, deflation, we covered this, we covered this. Uh, CPI, we covered. Um, yeah, these now are not in syllabus, right? So ignore. Ignore, 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 ignore. Okay, all this now we, we ignore is on syllabus, right? So that is session. What session was this? Um, session three. Yeah, that's it for session three.